now imagine that you're working on a script that you based on the default template, just as we did with this example script. And there's an element you want to be different, not only in this script, but in every script that you based on the default template from now on. Making that happen is easy. You just follow the same steps we took to change an element before. On the Format menu, select Element Styles. And let's say that you want to change the style for Action. So on this stack of buttons over on the right, click the Action button. In the left panel, we see that Change. And then uh, let's say that you want your paragraphs of Action Description to have a bit more space between them. So we'll go down to this area for Spacing. And in this field for lines before, let's pump that up to 1.5. Now here's the trick. On the lower right corner, look for this box that says Save as Default for All New Documents. And click that box so that the check mark appears. Click the OK button. And you have made this change not only to this script, but also to the default template. So every other script you now base on the default template will have this action style of one and a half lines of spacing before. But what if you have made lots of revisions to element styles within this script and you want all of them to be in the default template? Also easy. But before you do that, you always want to first save your current default template, just in case that you want to revert back to that later. So to do that, minimize your open script and then find your current default template. Unless you've moved your screenwriter templates to some other location, you can find your default template by going to the Documents folder on a Macintosh, which on a Windows computer would be the folder named My Documents. Within your Documents folder, look for the folder named Movie Magic Screenwriter. Double click that, and within that, you should have a folder for templates. Double click that and look for a file named default.def. DEF indicates definition. And change the name to uh, something uh, meaningful, maybe a backup one. Open your script again. and go up to the File menu. Go down to Save as Template, about halfway down. This isn't Save as or Save a Copy, but this is a completely separate selection here for Save as Template. Now notice that this uh, dialog box automatically opens into your Templates folder. Up here in the Save as field, notice that it's already added the correct extension of DEF, and over here you want to call that Default. It very specifically has to have that default name in order to work as your default template as you are going forward. So now you go down to the lower right hand corner, click the Save button, and you have now created a new default template.